Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft video on my channel. In today's video, I will be playing through a new mashup pack that was released today for free. If you want to play in it, just go into the marketplace, click this up here, and it has a bunch of gifts you get every day for Christmas. And today, it was this really cool mashup pack that was released called Simburbia. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. But anyway, we're going to be playing through this, and then giving it a rating out of 5 stars. If you guys like this, I will be making more episodes with this world. So leave a comment below after you watch the video, and tell me what you thought about it. I've never played in this before, so this will be my first reaction to it. So I'm not going to modify anything, I'm just going to create the world. Okay, I just loaded into the world. I don't know how long this is gonna be. Streamer slash video creator notice. You're permitted to record and stream this game. Thank you for sharing it with your fans. Oh, that's really nice. Alright. At least I won't get copyright striked about anything. Test music volume. Ooh. Oh, well, that sounds cool. Suburbia easy or suburbia? Of course! Suburbia normal. The real way to play some Burbia. Major disasters threaten your city periodically and cannot, no, and can wipe out huge areas of land. Alright. Begin. Oh boy, what is this guy? <laughs> He's tiny. Right click me with your mouse or interact with me with control of your choice. Hello. Why am I yelling? Well, it's not because you're here. Our new mayor. Huzzah. Together we will make a grand city. However, all things start small, and right now we have nothing but a big, empty plot of land in the middle of nowhere. Talk to me outside. Okay, whoa, we just straight up teleported. How did I get out here so fast? Yeah, how did you? Never mind that. Look at this huge space. There is a natural spring out there. It has a blue thingy over the top of it. Bulldoze it. I'll explain why when you come back. It should show up on your map. So I think we gotta bulldoze this. Bulldoze plot? What? What did I do? Oh. Oh, I think I need to bulldoze this. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Exploded it. Alright. Come back and see me at the town hall. Oh, why don't you come with me? Big boom! Bulldoze things, bulldozing things is fun. The reason we did that is because there are some natural thermal vents. We can use these to generate power out here. There is only enough energy for that small plot, but what we can do is build a power plant on top of it. This will supply power to a huge area. Just like before, go to the area you want to build and then select the options in your hotbar to make them happen. Power plants are expensive and cost a lot of every month just to maintain them. Now I think we gotta build something maybe. If you didn't guess already, this game is all about like building your city. You've probably seen games like this before, kind of like Clash of Clans. Zone power plant. Ooh, wait, so are we gonna put it right where we bulldozed? Oh boy, the cranes just fell out of the sky. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow, if only building things in real life was that easy. Good job. Come back and see me at the town hall. Wow, now that whole area is powered. You can see the powered range on your map. Ooh, that's cool. In fact, now it is a good time to recommend you put it in your offhand. That's the little shield slot next to your armor, I know that. I'm not a noob, hopefully. <laughs> next, you should turn on the power indicators for your map. In your hotbar, there are a bunch of things you can turn on and off. Okay, so the map. Oh wait, this, I think all this area in these lines in the map is powered, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I just had to turn on the power on my map and turn it back off and talk to this guy again. Now that you've played around with the map, you get to zone your first residential housing area. 
You need residential zones for citizens to live. Keep them far away from power plants, though. They do not like the pollution. Citizens take a while to build their plots in allowed zones, so come back as soon as you've zoned the area. Okay, now we need to build another thing. Alright. I think these white particles indicate where I can build and where I cannot build. Like, oh, 15k. So $15,000. Oh, I can see. Like, over like there. There's my money. So I have 200,000. There's no power here. I need to build a power plant. So here? <laughs> there's, there's no power everywhere. Oh, wait. Oh, we ha we're supposed to build it here. Oh, okay. Next up, your citizens will want somewhere to shop. Commercial zones increase in land value when they are next to residential zones and vice versa. Citizens love living next to shops. The higher the land value, the more in taxes you will receive and the more citizens will move in. Ooh, I get taxes. Ah, ha, ha. <sighs> Another zone plot. Ooh, wait, can we build more than one? 45,000. Oh boy. Eh, why not? Let's build another. The third zone is industrial. This is a tricky one because it makes the most money, but both commercial and residential don't like being next to them because of the pollution. I recommend putting it far away, as far away as you can from both of them. They're expensive plots and can make a lot of pollution, but they bring in the most taxes and provide jobs. They're a necessary evil for a thriving town. Okay. Uh, far away from everything else. Maybe I'll put it like over here. That's pretty far from those two things. $75,000. Oh boy. You did it. Your first zones are in place. The only thing left to do is set your game speed. You can do this from your hotbar as well. I recommend starting slow and seeing how things go. You can change it at any time. Be warned, speeding up the game will naturally reset and disasters happening sooner. So if something bad happens, don't forget to slow it back down and deal with it. Alright, got it, thanks. So, speed. Ooh. Like, baby zombie speed, that's kind of funny, honestly. Everyone knows baby zombies will literally outrun you no matter what. Let's let's just try llama speed. Ah, llamas. Love llamas. Okay, congratulations, you just finished the tutorial. To celebrate, you unlock the ability to upgrade from the city dump. Do I really want to upgrade from the city dump, though? Find it at the north end of the town, along the top rows of plots. Upgrade the city dump. Project unlocked. Okay. Uh, oh, and we can, like, I'm pretty sure we can bulldoze plots to remove them. Oh, this is actually cool. Oh, look, this is being built. Oh, that one's being built, too. Ooh, this is a store. Oh, my goodness, it's being built around me. Wow. It's almost nighttime. Want some tasty food from the grill? One gold coin for something from the menu. Okay, maybe later. I'm not hungry, really. Oh, is this a campsite? Wow, this is actually pretty cool. And this is all free, so like, I mean, even if it was bad, which so far it doesn't look very bad, but even if it was, I mean, I can't judge it too harshly because it's literally free. So, yeah. Wait, I need to go over here. I finally found that weird crystal thing. I right. Upgrade. Alright, let's go. Advisor. You already know that when you bulldoze plots, the rubble will end up here for recycling. If it's too full, you will have to pay to empty it. But now they will buy your scrap material. Oh, that's cool. City dump! Why are everyone, like, <laughs> dwarves? Garbage Lucas. What a name. Garbage Lucas. What a name. Now we're talking. Thanks for the upgrade, boss. We even managed to put in a little storage area for you to keep anything you like. Oh well, now you can toss your items into the recycler. Sometimes you'll get money, sometimes there's a fee. Test your luck. Don't forget, every time you bulldoze a plot, rubble ends up here. Yep, I know that. Alright. 
Okay, so it's kind of like chance. Like, we might get money or we might have to pay money. Oh, real quick. I'll have to turn the music down a little more. Wait, look. Um, in the upper right corner, there's a date. Wow, that's cool. Did anyone notice at the end of the month is payday? Cash, cash, cash. You can see your income per month on the sidebar. If too much is happening, slow the game down to panda speed until you can catch up. No, well, I like it at llama speed. That's pretty good. Ooh, a gas station now. I just click on the barber shop and he's like, Work it! Work it! Okay. <laughs> Not going in there. Bruh. When I click on gas, oh my goodness, that's such a troll. What is this? Wait, what is- what? A coin? Why do people just leave coins on the rooftops? Didn't a guy say if I gave him a coin, I could buy something from him? <laughs> I tried knocking on this door multiple times and it says, Looking great, Mayor. Nobody answered. There isn't anyone here. They must have gotten annoyed with you. Oh, it's just like real life. What is this? He's got an emoji. What? 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 Is it? what? It's like a. It's they. These remind me of like mini villagers and like this is their village. Well, I mean, yeah, it actually is. Garbage. Trash heap. No, thank you. Go bother people at home. They might have something. Whoa, look at this. This looks cool. It's like a mansion. Like, miniature. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to this guy again. Advisor. What's left to do? Well, now we get to watch your city grow. Citizens will move in, structures will be built, and you'll get the funds to zone more land. I'll stay here and give you assistance if something of note happens. I also have a few helpful options for you. Press the buttons. What? What? Where am I? Where's my city? Uh, uh, get me back. Alright. Oh my. What? Uh, okay, that was, that was, that was uh, weird. Anything new? Alright. So, I can probably build some more things. And how do I get money? Wait. Income per month? It's 15,000. I'm gonna speed it up to... Baby zombie speed! Oh, I can use this watch to get back to the town hall. That's pretty cool. Once this gets bigger, I'll probably use it. Commercial, industrial. People don't like being by industrial. And commercial, they don't like being by a little more. And residential. I want some more people to move in, so I'll do another residential. Wait, did I build it too close to this? Oh, advisor. I already know that. Whoa, look at the map now. That's pretty cool. I can see my town growing. <gasps> the cranes are coming in from the skies. Oh, boy. Built another residential area. Oh, my goodness. It almost landed on my head. Do you mind? <gasps> another coin. Gotta steal it. Okay, now I got two coins. I still don't know what they're used for. Don't forget to clear the city dump. You can bulldoze if it's full. Lukeman takes credit so you won't be locked out of bulldozing. Okay. Wait, so... Oh, wait! I get it! We take those trash heaps and throw it in the city dump. Who knew you put trash there? Wow. Now, I think we yeet it into these hoppers. Oh, wait. Okay, so I think we got some money. Well, guys, that will be the end of today's episode. Subscribe for part two, and tell me what you thought about this episode in the comments. I'll definitely want to do more with this world. See you in the next video. Bye!